Today we're going to be going over how to work with the golf club. Now when I describe that, what I'm describing is how we can work with the momentum of the golf club instead of working against it. So I want to introduce to you the lesson about momentum and I'm going to use these keys as an example. So as we all know, there is a pendulum, right? And the golf swing is a pendulum. So I want to use these keys as an example about what we're going to discuss later. So what I'm going to do is place these keys right here. And right now it's standing still. So there's no momentum. There's no force being applied. And I want you to notice as I start these keys going back and forth, what happens, right? So this is a pendulum. It's swinging back and forth. So, but I'm going to restart it and I'm going to explain to you what's happening. So there's no force here, right? So we need an external force, which will be from this hand, in order to start this pendulum, right? So what I'm going to do is actually to get the momentum started, to move the keys forward, I'm going to have my hand move back. So this will be the axis of which these keys are rotating around, which is similar like the golf swing. So you'll see that my hand moves back to move the momentum of these keys forward, right? So this part. So watch this here, and then that starts the momentum. But as you notice, you'll see that the direction in which the keys are going, my hand in terms of direction is moving in opposition. So to move it forward, my hand is moving back and to move it back, my hand is moving forward. And then in order to apply more force and energy, if I keep doing this more, oop, fell off. But by looking at that, the more we apply that energy and moving in opposition of those keys, so my hand moving in opposition of the keys, the more energy we can apply into the keys, and as we'll talk about later, into the golf club. So now let's apply that key analogy when it comes to using the momentum of the golf club correctly to the actual golf club. And so first I'm going to demonstrate what most amateur golf swings look like and what they do with the momentum of the golf club. So if I dress here and I start swinging like this, this is what the golf swings of most amateurs look like, right? Especially in terms of not having enough club at speed. What they're doing is they're moving their center of mass. So center of mass will be belly button or for reference today would be the center of our sternum to make it easy. So this center of their sternum is moving in the same direction as the object. So the golf club. And coming through, it's moving in the same direction. Now, for the pros or better golfers, what they do is move the center of mass in opposition of the, of the momentum of the golf club, right? So just like that pendulum analogy, right, I'm going to apply the same principle. So in order to get the momentum of this club started, right, if it would be in a sense as if just like those keys, I will move my center of mass back to get the mass of this club head to move slightly forward. So it would be here, there. And then that gets the momentum started. Then now to move this center of mass, to move this mass of this object back, my center is going to move forward. So they're going to move in opposition. So that way, right? And then the momentum of the club, it will keep carrying on into our backswing. And then now to move the club forward with the momentum, I'm going to be moving my center of mass back. So it will look like this, right? That looks more like a golf swing that the pros or better golfers will have. So again, the same principle would be just like that analogy. My center of mass, so my sternum, is moving back to get the momentum forward. And then to get the momentum to go back, my center of mass is moving back this way forward. The club that keeps carrying on with the momentum. Then to move the center of mass, to move the mass of this object forward, my center of mass starts to move back. And that's how we create that efficient club at speed. So what I'm going to do is use a couple of drills that you can use at home and while at the golf course to help you to apply this principle to gain more efficient speed and work with the golf club instead of working against it. I hate to admit this, 
that I was once in your shoes where I was scrolling on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok on the latest golf tip to help me improve my golf game. Did that work for me? Maybe for about a few days or a week, but it never helped me improve long term. So what I learned and what you need to learn is that you need to know what your body can do physically and also what your most optimal golf swing is to help you improve your golf game. So how does that come into picture with me? Well, I will help you to understand your most optimal golf swing using both a TPI physical assessment to see what you can do physically, along with Sportsbox AI, te AI technology to help you to understand what your body is currently doing, and then also tracking the progress of specific parameters that we focus on to help you to improve your golf game. Ready to take action to improve your golf game on a long-term basis? Comment down below the word assess and let's get started. So now what we're going to do is use a progression of momentum drills to help you to learn how to apply that principle to work with the golf club. And here I have a kettlebell and then next I'll demonstrate with the golf club, right? And the reason why I like to use a kettlebell is because it's a heavier object, right? So in most times when we have a heavier object, we tend to have better motor patterns because the object is so heavy using our own brute strength is not efficient, but instead using our center of mass to carry that heavier object would be more efficient. So I want you to take a kettlebell or any type of weight, put it in the middle of your stance, right? So this is just like I'm setting up in the golf swing. And then what I want you to do is apply that same principle that we did with those keys. So what I'm going to do is create momentum in the system or this kettlebell, right? So I'm going to be moving my center mass back to get this kettlebell to move forward, right? Then to move the center, to move the kettlebell back, my center mass is going to be moving forward, right? So moving in the opposition of this kettlebell, right? So start again. So center mass moving back, kettlebell moving forward, kettlebell moving back, center of mass moving forward. And then as we come through, then to move the kettlebell forward, my center mass will be moving back again. So in full motion, it'll look like this, right? Here. Now that's that pendulum that we create, right? And then I would just put more force into the system in order to have this kettlebell to swing to have a bigger arc. So I want you to apply it and I want you to start off small, right? And you'll actually feel it within your feet, right? So you'll feel it within your feet. I'm putting some pressure into my trail foot to get that, to get that momentum started. And then I'm shifting earlier. So moving that center of mass more forward to get the club back. And then as it comes down, then I'm moving back away from it again. So it'll be just like this. So start off small. And then you'll feel that you're using this kettlebell properly to create some speed into it versus me doing this, right? So that's me moving my center mass in the same direction as this kettlebell. And as you see, there's no speed being applied, but even more so, it's not on the correct arc. So versus here, now we get it on that arc in that natural pendulum, just like the golf swing. So now what we're going to do is take the golf club and apply that same principle. Now we're going to make application from that kettlebell drill using momentum onto the golf club. And this is also this will also be a momentum drill, but just with the golf club, obviously. So I want you to set up and the same thing, same principle will be applied. So you'll move that center mass back to get that momentum started. And then now, to carry it back, my center of mass is moving forward. Now, because my center of mass is already forward, now, as I come down, now I'm in the process of moving my center of mass back to get this club to keep moving forward. So it would be like this. Just like that. Try that one more time. Just like that. You see how much speed I have versus if I'm moving in the same direction, if my center's mass is moving in the same direction as this golf club, 
it's not even as much speed and it's not in the correct arc. So, again, just like I described with the kettlebell, you'll feel it within your feet. So, I have the early pressure shift to the trail side because my center mass is moving back. And now the momentum is starting forward. Then I'm moving my center of mass back forward or in reference to so much in the middle because we move back. And now that momentum of that club head is getting carried. Then to bring this mass of this club head back forward, now I'm in a process of moving back, right? And so that's that natural pendulum again that we create and natural speed instead of feeling forced. And what you'll feel is that now you'll be creating more speed without having to try so hard, right? Because we're working with this mass instead of working against it. So I hope you apply this principle. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And stay tuned for the next video.